Hello fellow coders out there, welcome to the second part of this exotic game tutorial series teaching you how to make a fishing game here on Scratch. In the first tutorial we designed the assets for our game and even started working on some code for the fishing hook and the fish. In this tutorial you're going to learn how to add score, chances, and the timer along with some other things as well. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so in this tutorial you're going to be adding you're going to be adding this to the to your game. So as you can see, uh, the big fish is finally appearing and we're going to have it switch random costumes from the little fish to the big fish. Also, there's a timer right over here and there's score up here and chances. Okay, let's get started. Go to your folder and uh, choose the fishing game. After that, make two new variables. I'll call it score and lies. And uh, put them somewhere where you can see them and you can hide the fish speed. Then, you, then you'll say set score to zero and set lives to, I'm gonna do five. Oop. Set lives to five. Okay. Now, uh, now we're gonna get the scoring mechanism. We're gonna get an if then statement. We'll take this out temporarily. We'll get an if. Then we're gonna say if costume number equals one. Then change score by one. And we might also play a sound. We're gonna choose a sound. Connect is what I did in my uh, demo. Let's just do finger snap. That sounds good. So let's place. Uh, it starts on finger snap. I'll rename it to got one. And remember to put that podcast spawn new fish inside of the if. All right. Now let's get the. Uh, the big fish switching random uh, costumes. Uh, we're first going to paint a new spray. And I'm going to draw the big fish. Okay, and now we're gonna call this little and big. Okay. Now one thing we have to do is we have to say switch costume to right here. We're gonna say switch costume to pick random one to two. And we're also gonna do that right here. And we're also going to set color effect to 1 and 100. Let's see if that works. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. Uh, okay. Now let's get, uh, like, if you touch the big fish, then the score is going to increase by 5. Because right now, if we touch the big fish, nothing happens. And it's obviously not what we want. We want, when we touch the big fish, we want to score, like, a lot of points. Because big fish are worth that points. So we will say if costume number equals 2. Actually, it worked a little bit fast there. We're going to duplicate this if. And put this back in. We're going to say if costume number equals 2, change the score by, and this could be whatever you want. I'll just have it be 5 to illustrate a point. And we're going to play another sound, a really motivating sound. A little boing. Mm, I'll, I'll do a little boing. 
I don't know. In fact, let's do a magic spell, actually. Magic spell. In fact, we'll do magic... We'll play the song magic spell when the score is... No. We'll do got one. No, and we'll do magic spell here. And we're going to rename magic spell got a big one. I always like to rename my sounds. Boom, it's changing, the score's changing by five. Oh, we, kept, we couldn't get that. All right, now let's get the lives. Um, Let's just zoom out so we have more space. And, we'll, and we can even clean this up. So we'll clean it up. Then, uh, after this code, because once it reaches the edge, we want the lives to decrease. We're going to say change lives. By... I did negative 0 0.1, I'll just do negative 0 0.3. So now if we do that, you can see it changes to 4.7, and the score increases. Okay. Okay, now let's get the timer going. Make a new sprite and write out all your numbers in ascending order. Uh, now this is really important. It's re it's really important that the name of like the number you're writing ha uh, corresponds to the costume name. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. And I uh, you can make your te your uh, text different colors, but I'm going to but I'm going to choose green and uh, I'll write it and I'll come back to. You. When I'm somewhere near finished with the numbers. Okay, just finished with all the numbers, and now let's get coding with the timer. But this, but before we start, this is really important. Like, uh, you must make sure that zero is at the end. Uh, it it just helps you be more organized with the with the code and costumes. All right, now let's get with the code. Uh, we're gonna make two new variables called timer and wait time. Then we're gonna say when go clicked, set timer to, and this can uh, this will depend on how many numbers you have, uh, excluding zero. But I have twenty, so I'm gonna choose twenty as a timer, and make sure this is timer set timer to twenty. Then we're gonna set wait time to, and this will change, and this will change based on, uh, if we add uh, extra levels in the game and we want the game to get harder, uh, we could make the timer go go faster, so the wait time would come in handy. But for now, we'll just do one second. Then we're gonna get a forever loop out. Then we're gonna say wait, connect that, wait. Wait times seconds and change timer by negative one. Then, uh, in order to get the timer to actually display here, we're going to say when go clicked forever if, then we're going to get a greater than, greater than zero. If timer is greater than zero, then this is a neat little trick I picked up to switch costume to the timer. This is why it's really important to name your uh, costumes according like 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10. That's why it's good. That's why it's important. And I'll just move my timer right here. Then we don't want the timer to go into the negatives because time doesn't go backward. So if not timer equals 0, so the timer is not 0, then switch costume to 0, but the timer is still going to go down. And then uh, to fix that, we're going to just set the timer to 0. Okay. So as you can see, it's way too big, so I can shrink it. So, right. Oh. Boom! As you can see, we have a working timer now.
and uh, I accidentally restarted the game. So what happens when we get all the way to the bottom? Let's just wait. Three, two, one. It just stops. And uh, we don't want to just stop. We want everything to stop when uh, when when it reaches zero. So just to give it, just to give it a little uh, kick off, uh, we're going to make a new sprite. We're going to call it Times Up, and that's going to be like the game over screen. Now I know this is just temporary and just to get you uh, boosted into the real game over screen which is like it's gonna come in a future tutorial but for now yeah and oh if not timer is greater than zero switch cost from zero so timer to zero and also we're going to broadcast times up Oh, no, we're actually not going to broadcast anything. But actually, yeah, we are. For now, we're going to broadcast. And then in the later tutorials, we're just going to do something more complicated. Okay. And then we're going to go to the Time's Up sprite. We're going to say, when go click hide. And when I receive Time's Up, show. Again, this is just a simple version of what we're going to be doing uh, later on. But for now, that's that. So if we wait for the timer to be all over, oh, not 10 seconds left. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, time's up. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so let's do a recap of what we learned in this tutorial. We learned how to get a score, we learned how to get lives, and we learned how to do a timer, and now a simple version of a game over screen. So, oh, I missed that. The lives goes down, but if I get it, the score goes down. And we also learned how to get a big fish. Why aren't the big fishes coming? Oh, there we go. And we learned how to do that. And boom, that's... That's what we learned in this tutorial. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you like the tutorials, definitely consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video and hitting the bell icon so you never miss a video. Uh, but yeah, I, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, you're gonna be learning how to make a start menu and a game over screen. So uh, tune in for part three and I'll see you guys later, everybody. Goodbye!